Let the vengeance begin! Howdy, howdy! Sudevil here, and welcome to Game 2 of Shadow Online Gaming's tournament with me playing the Greenskins against Black Iron Battles Beastmen. Now, <clears throat> a couple quick things about this game is uh, number one, for some reason the map wasn't working so we weren't able to play on the map we were on, but basic army I have is the Forest Goblin Spider Rider Archers, Death Creepers, uh, just like I planned. I have them deployed right out front. Now this was in the way of my main line deployment so I had to offset you know this way to get my infantry together so I have savage orcs black orcs savage orcs black orcs black orcs savage orcs I do have those big guns in the back to protect Wurzag and I've got the orc boar big guns on my left edge because I expected his cavalry cavalry to be on his left edge on his right flank and I do have these goblin wolf riders on the far side because I was expecting Ungor Raiders. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't have any. In his front line, he has Gore Herd, three units of them, and we do know that our Savage Orcs can beat them down, but he's done something quite clever, actually. He's got best of Gore Hordes, but he's given them some Chevrons that's brought up their stats, 42 and 26, and this one has three, so they're 42 and 27. And our Black Orcs are 36 and 26, so they're just just a little bit better to come up to the level of black orcs this was the big surprise for me he brought two units of centigors with great weapons and two units of centigors with throwing axes so four units of cavalry i was expecting two i so i just have the boar boys on this side and he of course does have morgor the shadow gave and for morgor he does have that staff of ruinous corruption for the chaos spawn also the spirit essence of chaos for the chaos spawn and he, of course he does regenerate and he did not bring the bray shaman that spawned the manticore he brought the bray shaman of death just with the jagged dagger and the fate of buna and spirit leech for his army so we'll get this under the way i immediately you can see brought my infantry i want to get them up and engaging on this side i do want to get that gaze of mork off on his Bray Shaman and I do have these guys engaging right away I kind of panicked when I saw this big group of Centigors so I'm just gonna take one of my group of big guns push them off push these guys in and I'm gonna take these guys and push them in again to try and get an engagement out here I need to get my infantry engaged and start casting with Wurzag so the Death Creepers have done all right. They've done some damage, some early damage onto his infantry. The engagement is going here, but my big guns are slow to get there, and so are my Goblin Wolf Riders. I have my Goblin Wolf Riders. I was going to come after his Bray Shaman because he's not on a chariot, but then I changed my mind to bring them up here. So the infantry engagement is going good. I'm getting those Gore Herd, herd down very quickly, but he's got the Fate of Buna on one of these guys. I maybe one of these black orcs I can't remember exactly which one he put it at he does have Morgor coming in the back so I'm just so I'm just gonna push Wurzag off the edge I'm gonna try and kind of get around here I'm already shatter uh, routing his front line but he's doing some good work on my black orcs over here I, and he's winning this engagement out here I'm not doing enough out there but he's here he goes he's got that chaos spawn going exactly what I expected. I've got the big guns. I'm going to go in there and attack and I've been able to keep Wurzag safe. I've got my Forest Goblin Spider Riders in the back just shooting into the sides. I'm going to try and get in there and get a, get a few attacks and get that 11% defensive bonus but I'm losing really really badly out here. I think that's where he had the Fate of Muna and I'm losing bad out to this front side. But I'm winning very, very easily up on this chaos, chaos Spawn. This is one of the critical engagements that I was expecting to have. He's bringing Morgor again to try and chase down Wurzag. And I can just bring these Forest Goblin Spider Riders, give them orders, make sure they can get in front of there. And he has spawned another group of Chaos Spawn. And he's routed off these Black Orcs on this side. And he's been able to ch chase down these Forest Goblin, Goblin Spider Riders. I just wanted to send them out to keep these guys routing. But he's kind of caught them. 
I, I gotta get Wurzag away. I can't have Wurzag engaging with this Bestigor herd. These Orc big guns have done a great job, and this Chaos Spawn is kind of isolated out here. The battle out here is still going on. It's still pitched, still fighting. We've got routing units, uh, units coming back, but he has now definitely won this side of the engagement. He's got Morgor up against these Black Arts, which are going to do good, and he's bringing in these, these Chaos Spawn. And I've got my big guns. I, I haven't given them a good order, so I'm going to come in and go after this Bestigor horde, and I'm going to just try and keep shooting him. I've got this Gaze of Mork going off. Now I've got uh, Wurzag a little bit isolated out here with, without support. I have been able to route out, route out these units out here, and I can bring these Forest Goblin Spider Rider archers back in. But he's winning that infantry engagement. He's winning the engagement out here. I've got some units of Savage Orcs I need to get back in. These Bestigors, though, he's got a really, really good unit up here. He's now just kind of collapsing on here. This Black Orcs are the last unit that, I'm, that I've got good, but he's pushing in on all my back line. I'm bringing back these orc big guns and he's just going to kind of come in and collapse on those big guns as well and try and finish off my last unit of black orcs over here. I have pushed in my forest goblin spider riders to try and help that engagement and I've got Wurzag. I fought it a little bit here. I just want to try and slow down these bestigors in the back line but he's got a big blob here. He's just definitely pushing me back and now I have units kind of routing out I'm trying to at least create a bit of a line here, some way to defend. I've got some Savage Orcs, I've got these these Death Creepers. I'm trying to shoot into this Bestigor herd and just kite away. And this, uh, unfortunately, he's got everyone coming in on these last unit of Black Orcs. He's pushing in on these big guns. I've got my Death Creepers in. I'm just trying to come in and, and at least hold these guys off. And I'm going to try and kite out these Bestigor herds. I want to push in with Wurzag and get some damage done. At least I, I want to try and route one of these two units off. So I pushed in here to try and at least win this battle and win this fight. And I pushed in here with these Forest Goblin Spider Riders to try and hold up that blob over on this side. So I can try and at least beat these Bestigors or at least push them back. I've, these Death Creepers do regenerate. I do use that... Uh, Fist of Gork, but now I've got, unfortunately, I'm routing, and everybody routes off, and that is the battle. Whew! And this was a really, really good move, putting these chevrons on. What a, what a great play. And uh, the bringing this Brace Shaman of Death, didn't expect that. I've seen him use it before, but just used it to really control these Black Orcs. So my Black Orcs got 30, 72, and th and 33 so these black orcs did pretty good my savage orcs did fine 761 to 33 just fine and and outclassed the gore herd 25 23 and 13 extremely well the ah, deaf creepers and force goblin spider riders did okay the orc boar brig guns 34 and 40 against his centigore 68 and 38 not really great these orc boy, these orc big guns did good against the chaos spawn, but he brought a second unit of chaos spawn in right away and went right after one of my black orcs. And this unit of big guns came out to fight the centigors. I wasn't able to get everyone together, and these centigors did a great job on that outside edge. But the the heroes of the battle here are these bestigor herd. You know, 94, 102, 81, 101, chevroned up. Really, really smart move. I did expect to see the Gorbel and didn't see that, and he was pushing off Wurzag. I couldn't get, I wanted to get Wurzag close to get that 11% debuff, but wasn't able to do it. So, great fight, fast, fun, you know, uh, <laughs> I, well, unfortunately we didn't get the map we had expected, but the map was close enough so that it was going to be a good fight. I'll, I'll do an after action report and try and look at my play in more detail but awesome game to black iron thank you so much if you guys haven't gone and subscribed to black iron battles channel go and subscribe he's really fun to watch and you know we've done some 2v2s i think we're going to be doing more stuff in the future this tournament has been great for making connections and a great fun battle for game two that puts me at one and one in the tournament so far so hope you found that interesting and I will see you soon.